How's it going, man? Here we are again. Here we are. One more episode. Now in English. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just how I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that, that's where I struggle, man. Uh, I, I have fun with the Spanish one because, you know, I'm more fluent in Spanish. And then you, you kind of like shy away a little bit. And, yeah, you know, just a little bit. But, you know, I'm getting there, learning a little bit. I should be shying away on English because I don't speak that well. But I don't yeah, care. I still you're, speak. You're confident, man. That's all it is. You uh, be confident about so, it. So, yeah, if I messed up or whatever it is, nah, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So it's my second language. So I, I, I'll try my best. Hey, you're doing good, man. All Keep right, it up. All right. Keep yeah. Um, well, how's it been? How you, how you, how you doing? How's the, how's the collection? How's the, how's the store? Well, the store has been going pretty good. Uh -huh. Can't complain. You got always get new customers in and uh, a lot of new stuff, new stories. I'm always hating on you, man. Every time oh. that you show me, oh, look what it walks in into the store. I'm like, oh. I mean, because it's, it's fun. It's, it's fun always seeing all these new stuff that comes in. Mm -hmm. things, things that you know about, but you really don't haven't seen it in person. Yeah. And stories from these people, you know, that they're. The, the, their past so it's, it's always fun to, to hear that that's what i like to hear more about their past yeah 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 i think i think yeah the 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 usually the toys come comes with a story yes exactly uh and that's one of the things that that you miss when you're just shopping online mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm i bet it's pretty cool yeah it is a lot of memories that's what it is memories is what is what i think that's what brings you back people that's really why we collect you, you mostly get people that they own the toy from From the very beginning. So or? what usually with the stories that I I usually hear is they're looking for that figure. They're looking for that figure that they had in the past and sometimes they actually find it and, and there's times that I actually have it no, in no, my no. store. But when they bring figures to you to mm -hmm. sell. To sell oh, okay, to you, okay. Like uh -huh. uh, you do you do you usually deal with people that they own the figure from the beginning, from from when they were little? Or, or more like I mean nine times out of ten no they they don't uh, the, maybe there are one or two customers that have had that figure since they were young mm -hmm. but I usually don't get those for the simple fact that I don't think they're gonna like what I'm offering them because they're gonna have sentimental value for it and I'm looking at it more as a business standpoint so that's yeah. why that that that's why it's a little tough for me to try to deal with people like that because I wouldn't want to sell their You know the memory short, so mm -hmm. you know if we can't make a deal, that's fine. No, but, but yeah, and like I said, usually when when it's people that come into the store, they're they're just willing to sell. But they're, I can see, I I can see, I can see your point. I can see what you were what, what you were talking about when mm -hmm. when you said about the 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 story, the nostalgia, the 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 sentimental value. Mm -hmm. Um, I did. I personally didn't own any. Oh, I don't have any of my childhood mm -hmm. uh, yeah. toys. Uh, even though I didn't have many originals, but you know, whatever bootlegs or knockoffs, whatever they were when when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I just you know I don't know I don't even know what what what, what happened with <laughs> where they are. I I think just my mom threw them away or well that's how, that's usually the story. That's how it usually yeah. goes. They throw it away. Everything goes away. Throw. But there's times that like I said, I've gotten I gotten people come in and tell me, hey, um, this is from my childhood. Mm -hmm. These are the them stories. They kept it in the attic. Yeah, but wouldn't wouldn't they be the ones that make more money out of it because they just you know they just bought them retail and bought you, it bought them. You would you would think so. You you would think so. But sometimes these guys are actually trying to make as much money as they can. So mm -hmm. that's why, like I said, I really don't. It depends. Yeah, I really don't make too many, you know, deals with them because mm -hmm. they have more of a, of a sentimental Sem value. Yeah. So they just don't want to let it go for a certain amount of money that I'm trying to offer because I'm seeing it. Like I said, I'm trying to sell it to make some profit, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that's that's just how the way it goes. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, like I say, we, I do get some people that 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 do have sentimental value, but majority of them, they're just ready to sell. They're ready to let go. And it's not something they had since they were young. So that's why it's it's easier to make a deal with people like that. Make, you know, make a make make a sell. So, make a sell. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, now that I just mentioned it, like, you know, when I was little, I didn't get too many uh, 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 original figures. Mm -hmm. We were in like per se, like I'm not gonna say we were poor or like like poor like to the point where we didn't have food but because no we did and I had a, a happy childhood. childhood and all that but I don't remember actually owning any original you know Ninja Turtle mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. Thundercat or you know Silverhawks and mostly what I will you know get is just you know some Now I know it was bootleg. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know at the time 
you know, uh, um, that it was called like that or, or knockoffs, you know, the mm-hmm. ones that, oh, this kind of looks like, like he, man, but <laughs> has a weird face. His but, name is Herman. Yeah. Her- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. So we didn't know. It was just, yeah. not, it's just still, still a toy. It looks mm-hmm. like the, the one on the TV. Uh, but yeah. W- what do you, what do you think about those? Like, do you, do you collect, collect, uh, uh, uh knockoffs what, or what, bootlegs and, yeah, or I mean, even variants? So, so honestly, I remember going to Mexico myself and there were times that I would get a knockoff and not even a bootleg. It was a knockoff. And I mean, I got it because I liked it. I didn't get it because I didn't know what it was. I just, mm. I just liked it. I liked, believe it or not, I liked how the way it looked. So I would get it. But of course, you know, the knockoff, I would spin the head and all of a sudden it break <laughs> off. I'm like, oh, God, it just <laughs> broke on me. Yeah. yeah. Um, the quality wasn't it, necessarily yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. So I, mean, I don't have nothing against them. I mean, I have some... I have some bootlegs, mm-hmm. not too many. I try not to get too deep into that, but I know there's some bootlegs out there that, yeah, man, that they, they could be pretty pricey. You know? Yeah, and but also that that what you just mentioned about the the, the knockoffs and partly the bootlegs, their lack of quality and also you know, at the end of the day, a lot of collectors they trying to to go and find mm-hmm. their nostalgia their child that their childhood yeah. uh, toys a- and on some of our stories you know those bootlegs were part of our childhood yeah and the lack of quality make them How even harder to harder find harder to yeah, find exactly therefore sometimes more desirable and there's some knockoffs or some bootlegs that, that, that are, are well even known. more that are well expensive known. Than, yes yes sir yeah um, I don't personally collect, uh, none of those mm-hmm. variants. I do variants. I do collect a few. I, I wouldn't say I'm a, I'm a variant collector. Mm-hmm. I do have my exceptions on, on some of them, but, uh, bootlegs, even f- fewer, mm-hmm. uh, exception. This is, this is only just one of them the toxics yeah and that and that's that's a good one that's one of the yeah that's one of the good ones that, that's why that's, you, that's you why chose I got a it. good one to, yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i honestly i probably have like well like three or four bootlegs mm-hmm. uh, and that's kind of what i have in my collection too i don't have too many and and i don't know i just don't want to chase them it's, it's I, sometimes i feel like finding a bootleg is a little harder to actually find a hard in a high end piece that's wouldn't it be uh, also easier to 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 like make a replica if somebody else did it i mean yes but at the end of the day it be- as, as crazy as it sounds like say okay let's say a bootleg is is pretty much from a from an actual uh, a, like a real toy line okay, figure, okay so and people people that actually collect that that actual original toy from that toy line be well that's a bootleg why would you want that if you could have the original hmm so that being said, you know, people are gonna be like, "Why would you want to make a replica of a bootleg?" They're gonna they're gonna say the same Got thing, it. yeah, 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 because it's not the original bootleg. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I'm getting at is I wouldn't I wouldn't want to replicate something that's that's uh that's a bootleg. I would that's want the original, bootleg, yeah, yeah. just like I would want something from the Got original. It. If you're gonna line. put the time on it. Might yeah, as well exactly. replicate the original. So, it's, but there's nothing wrong with people replicating. You know, doing yeah. the, the the you know. No, there is wrong. There is wrong about people replicating figures. To well, no, me, no, no, no. Okay, well, well, yes. To me, like I said, look, everybody, like I, like I said, mentioned before, there's no wrong way of collecting. Okay. Mm. Now, what I think, replicating and selling, that's a problem that I have. Exactly. That that's that's what I was going for. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't have a problem. With, I don't, but I kind of do. Mm-hmm. Right. So. I do have a problem with uh, reproductions mm-hmm. um, or replica, whether it's a figure or, or the, Accessory. or the accessories. Because the first sale, normally, mm-hmm. normally the, the guy that replicates says, oh, it's a replica. We make him. And this is just a replica. Mm-hmm. And they sell it as a replica. But sometimes they do it so close to the original mm-hmm. even with the timestamp with the with the 1980 yes. something mm-hmm. um and the, everything it's to the to the colors and everything that the guy that gets it he nothing stops him from selling it as an original to an 
to on on train aye. aye yeah right so that's where my problem starts like i don't I, it's hard because then you say no well but it wasn't my problem i saw them as, as yeah as replicas but, but what you're saying is is the person that actually bought it they may want to sell it and they might you never and, and that's where you and that's understandable that's where you don't control mm -hmm. uh the 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 the, the 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 ethics of it right yeah, so you yeah. you never know if the guy that's gonna buy it from you is gonna be honest gonna, yeah. so I, I would be fine with people doing a replica but pu putting a stamp on the bottom like like add something to the mold mm -hmm. that makes it like different to the original not too long ago and i don't want to you know i've seen a lot of uh mixed opinions on this uh on, on the ninja turtles a this. guy came up uh, with a scratch. Yeah, yeah. Casually, the most expensive figure or one of the most, most expensive yeah. f figures on the line. At least loose. Mm -hmm. So, yes, and he made it so, so yeah. close to the original. He even put a timestamp and everything on it. Yeah. Even put a timestamp. He puts like Playmates in 1980, yeah, 1994 or something like that, whatever mm -hmm. the year was. So you you compare it and then even to the experts or the trained eye, yeah, they like it's it's almost impossible to tell them apart. Mm -hmm. I believe the only difference is if you li you lift up the, the 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 armpit, it has some texture. On, yeah, there, there's but it's very minimal. Like it could easily be sold as an original and as a figure that is worth a thousand dollars without accessories. Mm -hmm. and, and and if it is a replica, what is it, like two hundred? Maybe whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but 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 you can easily or somebody can easily be ripping off. So so no, and, and I like I said, that's what I'm saying. When it comes, I'm I'm seeing that when you come to display, when you, when we're talking about displaying, if you're displaying it for your personal collection, that's why I say I don't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But what I do have an issue with, like you said, when you start generating so many of them, yeah. then it becomes a problem because you don't know if, for instance, let's say. Let's say that I buy a replica mm -hmm. and, and I'm just trying to make a quick sell, you know, like, hey, I might see if I can sell it to somebody and get over them and make buy for $20 and sell it for 200 mm -hmm. Okay. That's a problem. That's a problem that I have. And and so that's why me personally, just like you, even in my store, I don't sell no repro or reproduction thing, anything like that. I don't because I don't want to get into any trouble. If I if Star Wars is is one of the main main, main lines that yeah. they made so many reprodu and they and they try to get even better at it yeah and that's uh, what's scary that was scary because mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that I was I was reading the other time because I'm I'm fairly new to 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 Star Wars mm -hmm. so right even though I'm almost complete the, <laughs> the whole set of, <laughs> Here we of, go of again. figures <laughs> um, I, I still need three figures but uh, <laughs> but uh, I, 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 from two weeks <laughs> starting two weeks ago yeah yeah. <laughs> But um, but yeah, I, I I'm sometimes now kind of like leaning towards you know buying from from trusted sellers. Oh yeah, you know definitely definitely yeah. Because eBay is scare it scares me mm -hmm. to buy from eBay, especially a high end figure, one of the last 17s oh, or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Because now they're like, oh, they the, the if if the if the weapon floats on water, then it's original. If it doesn't. It's yeah, and, and, and so those, those, those the, yeah, those, like, so those are things that they, that people try to use that, but this is still not one hundred percent accurate. Yeah, if they float, okay, that that's yeah. that's a good sign. You, but you, you eliminate mean, some yeah. of them, some, but, but that's still not one hundred percent accurate. And then they have the flashlight that they, they, you can see through the through the actual accessory, just somewhat when you shine a flashlight again. That's another way to to look at the accessory. Yeah. So. I me personally, when it comes to buying, if I buy a high end piece when it comes to Star Wars, I'd rather get it graded. It's gonna cost a little bit more, but I know, I know for a fact, it's yeah, uh, you, you, you know. Gotta... But but yes, if you have trusted sellers, that that's good. That that's that's awesome. That's what you want. You want to have somebody you could trust, you can lean on. It's not gonna, you know. But at the same time, if they're not an expert, and kind of going back to what you said, they don't know, and they're selling you. a accessory being thinking they're thinking it's real as well yeah, yeah. so, so yeah in, aren't you a little afraid of you know that you probably have some replicas without knowing so me i do as much research as i can just like it's honestly because what i do is when i buy stuff to resell 
Mm-hmm. I think I take more pride in, into the, if it was my personal collection because I don't want to have that reputation where I'm selling reproduction things. I no, I, but, that's a, that's the last thing. Like so, I rather I rather sell if if I'm iffy about it. I would rather sell a figure without the accessory, yeah, than with it than, than being not a hundred percent. Got it. Got that it. so that's how I usually go based off when I sell something Star Wars or whatever accessory for T T N M T, Motu, whatever whatever Tornado is Transformers, whatever it could be, whatever they could make a, a mm-hmm. bootleg of. If I don't feel hundred percent about that accessory, yeah, it's the same thing with mm-hmm. some. Now that I'm like buying, you know, some Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Uh, I tried to, to to I went to buy with a with a friend of ours and then I bought some on eBay, on eBay. but even on eBay the descriptions are very yeah. iffy right so yeah. it's it's one hundred percent complete mm-hmm. but it doesn't say one hundred percent original so it's one hundred percent complete and then check the pictures mm-hmm. you be the judge like how yeah. how am I gonna tell so, a repro- so, a repro- so, and, from and, um and another another place Macari I don't, I don't know if you were shopping mm-hmm. Macari yeah but- I did and like. I, I, that app. I had an issue with them mm-hmm. and I deleted that out. So same same thing with me. So there there was this guy that had this really really nice card. You know, it was a Princess Leia original. And uh she looked she looked nice in the card. So I was like, "Oh man, you know, for really good price. I thought she was a really good price." So I'm like, "Okay, let me get it." So I look at the card, man, and you know, from naked eye like, "Man, like on the pictures it looked good. It looked really good." Mm-hmm. And so I I I get it in the mail. And I'm I'm just scratching my head and I'm like thinking like man, is this real or not? So I started asking some, some after you get it. Yeah, after I got it, I started asking some of the guys that I know that are real hardcore Star Wars collectors. You're like, hey, look at the card. You see how the picture's leaning just a little bit? I'm like, oh my god. So I started looking at it. Like, yeah, man. I know you're happy that you got it, but I don't think it's original. And then I looked at the layer, and she looked a little, she looked a little beat up. Oh. And I, that that to me made me think like, you know what, this, 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 seal. this guy, yeah. And so his the the seller, what his description was, I found it, I found it in a in a in a in a, in a what do they call those? Whenever they um, in a storage yeah. unit, oh, storage, okay, unit. storage so unit. So he found a bunch of carded, and he's just trying to let them go, because he don't have no use for them, mm. and so. It, but he said original 77 everything everything you wanted to see original card original everything and when then when i questioned him he got a little conf- confrontational with me mm-hmm. and he's like no 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 so if, but i got my money back i was happy to i send it back to him mm-hmm. but those are things that we're talking about it's scary yeah because that was something that i was happy to 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 have in my collection but then when i when i get when it in my realize head, it was yeah, yeah. yeah no my experience with them it was funny because it was the same the same platform uh my experience was i i I got some uh gi joes and i always have troubles um naming the the line the slaughters modauders modders yeah modders (laughs) that one the slaughters modders those ones (laughs) Uh, i ordered a few uh, in the description Mm -hmm. it said um which i didn't read my bad but it says broke uh repair thumb Mm -hmm. i only saw them like complete and all that but only after I bought him, I like, man, I didn't read the description. I just rushed to it. Yeah, I bought him. But I was like, all right, it's just thumbs were repair. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them if I, if I, if I had read read, read the description for it. It happens to all of us. But okay, I was like, all right, fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know that the thumbs are repair, whatever. But it says that they were like, the, I said, okay, whatever. I'll replace the figures, but I keep the the, the, mm-hmm. the accessories, right? Because it and the description didn't say nothing about the accessories. Okay. When I get them, as I told so many times, I work during the weekends. I got them on a Friday or on a on a Thursday, mm-hmm. right? No, a Friday, you know, noon. The UPS yeah. truck arrived, and then I had to leave. Right, I didn't have the time to open them, and then I work, you know. Friday, Saturday, yeah, your Sunday, are, are, like all weekend. Mm-hmm. I, I, I usually don't stop by the by the collection during during those days. And then when I get them on Monday, basically like Monday or Tuesday, I usually take off Monday. And then when I when I finally get them to Tuesday, it already passed three days, mm. and they yeah, automatically so. put it as a, as 
as a happy, posit- positive review yeah. or something like that. that the customer is happy because the customer they, happy because they, they, yeah, they yeah. haven't said anything. So when I finally open it uh, on Tuesday, I um, started putting it together, and then it was just as easy as I like. I just put my hand through through one of the of the accessories, and some pain, you know, mm. came off. I'm like, what is going on? And then I checked the belts. Pain was coming oh, off again. So, so they painted. So the- they painted like really oh, bad, no. by the way. But but they were able to sell them, and then I didn't check them on time. I made a, a, a complaint to Macari. Mm-hmm. They said no. The time already passed. We already gave him the money. I was like, "Where's my insurance?" Like I'm telling you, these are like fake. I just didn't have to time to open them before. Ba- they basically told me to, you know, you just it's a pound sand. Yeah. Mm. but I can do nothing about it uh, that's why I literally I closed the app I was so mad and you see and, and that's, that's what, it's exactly what you're saying when you're known as selling reproduction or bootlegs that you know or things that you, you're considering them to be original I couldn't even leave leave a, a bad review mm. but and and you could find some scores you could score some deals on Macari from here from time to time it happens mm. but the experience you had you see how that what happens is is you went away from that you do you don't want nothing to do with them, yeah. and that's what I'm getting at is displaying a reproduction piece. I don't have an issue with because like I said, there's no way wrong way of collecting, but reselling as original as original or just reselling it and not being honest. Hmm. You don't even have to be saying it's original. It's just as long as the person doesn't ask. Oh, the it's question. complete. Yeah. You know, you, you it can be complete with repro. Yeah, or or they or if, if the person doesn't ask it, I'm not gonna tell them. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not the right way to. You you want to be honest, so that's why I don't do that. That's why I I rather just not risk it, and I don't want to have that rep- bad reputation because then I'm gonna lose a customer, and then that customer could tell someone else, and then and then you just word of mouth, and then you're gonna yeah. have bad reputation. So you you don't you don't you don't you don't like you you don't like or you don't have. Uh, rep- repros on your no no not, and not even in my personal collection I don't have any re- reproduction I don't like I don't like I mean with all the respect like yeah I said, and, you know, and, and so I, that because that's the way I like to dis- I, I like to display I, my I understand you know if, if sometimes you like that figure and then you know you, why one is going to take you a while to get them mm-hmm. and just some repros it are, will is, make it like look complete in the meantime mm-hmm. I mean that's good so I, I have one so we were looking at your collection the other day, mm-hmm. and I told you about your last seventeen. You know you have a yak face, right? Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And when you're looking on eBay, and you're like, "Oh man, I found one for a really good price," and I'm like, "Man, really? You, <laughs> you think it's?" A-? I'm like, "You better jump on it." But you didn't see what it what it what did it say on the bottom? The the it was a reaper, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and what did you say? Oh no, no, you know what? Never. No, you, I, I, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. But that's what I'm saying. It's like, at, at when you when when you're just deep into a collection a collect you're collecting itself you're not gonna i mean i i respected what you did i mean because i would have done the same thing uh, you 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 had a like on it and as soon as you you, yeah, liked yeah, it, yeah. you, you know yeah I, I even tried to put you know the likes on on, mm-hmm. on ebay if, I, if i'm like looking for i i like the ones that i will possibly buy so mm-hmm. but sometimes i miss the the description yeah. and yeah no 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 for real um so you don't you don't do repros uh what about bootlegs you say so bootlegs, I have so some bootlegs because those are you could you could see those a hundred miles away. You, mm. Anybody would know that it's a bootleg. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I've I've sold bootlegs. I don't have issues. I actually, and there's bootlegs like is newer bootlegs and they're like vintage. Bootlegs. So I got vintage. So you, you, I've, I've sold like Silverhawk bootlegs, um, mm. Thundercats, Motu, Turtles, and people people like them. Like I said, people. There's yeah, they there's, sell. There's, there's yeah, hardcore collectors about you just bootlegs, right? So they have like a long, <coughs> a big, you know, shelf. Mm-hmm. People, people, people do like bootlegs. They like their bootlegs, and I don't have a problem. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I don't have a problem with it. I don't know if I have a bootleg. I think I do. I may have a bootleg, maybe one or two in, yeah. in my collection. But from the top of my head, I don't even know which one it is. I think I have a couple of turtles that are bootlegs. Okay, and and I mean, I held on to them just because I think they look cool. But mm-hmm. it, it, I don't I don't see no value to them. But, so. but, but because the line, you know, like mm-hmm. you, you like the line so much that mm-hmm. because you, you not only have bootlegs, but I know you have some customs as well. Yes, customs. I don't have customs either. <laughs> so I have. Uh, so what do you think about customs? Do you like customs, or you just wouldn't want them in your collection? Or does, as of uh, now, I feel like I'm a, I'm. A, it, it doesn't look like that. That I'm a a focus 
mm-hmm. person as far as collecting because I do collect a lot of lines. But the the end of the uh, at the end of the day, the, the what I collect is only vintage and, mm-hmm. and it just you know original figures. So I would say in my description will be that like mm-hmm. yeah, vintage or orig- original vintage collector. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do have some exceptions. One is because I really, really like that line, and they did very few uh, figures, mm-hmm. and that's Dinosaurs. Okay, yeah. Dinosaurs, they only came up with five figures. I tried to collect whatever I can hand my my, hand, my, my hands on. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a pretty nice line. It's a, it was one of my favorite uh, shows when I was a little guy. Actually, I don't know if you all can see it, but there's like um, that right there is a flyer. Uh, I have a catalog mm. from Ga- Galoov where where they were supposed to 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 get them out, but they never did here in the U.S. Uh, they ended up uh, making them on on Brazil only. But they're glass light, right? They they're glass light, and they only did five figures out of the first eight prototypes that, oh, that wow. they show. So they only did five out of the eight, but they never did. They had some uh, vehicles. Plan. They also had some mini figures. Mm-hmm. They have, I believe, one uh, place it. It was like a volcano. So and that's a prototype, the volcano. That was all prototypes. It's oh, on the wow. pictures. It's on. It's on the. It's on the catalog. So that's the only way that you can see what they were planning. Mm. I think I, I and I actually know a guy. Um, well, I don't know him, but personally, but I mm-hmm. I know him from from Facebook. I've done trades with him. Uh, but and he's got some some really nice uh, prototypes and, <laughs> and from dinosaurs. Like it's a very short line, mm-hmm. uh, and he's got a, like a lot of uh, animation cells and, and all mm. of that. So I do have some bootlegs and some uh, 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 customs from that line and from that line only mm. because it was so short, and I like the show so much. That I will just try to get as much as I can from that line, right? Especially vintage. Uh, so that's one line. The other line that I have a bootleg is 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 the Toxic Crusaders. Mm-hmm. Uh, wh- and, and that's a really good looking boot. I mean, it don't even look like a boot. It looks damn near that's original. That's exactly that's if you put it, but you compare it to the to the with the original line, mm-hmm. it could pass as, as yeah one that, of, of their own, right? So when I was you know doing my research. Um, the Toxic Crusaders was one of those shows that I, one of those lines that I didn't see the show. Mm-hmm. I didn't know the show until I was, you know, now mm-hmm. collecting. Mm-hmm. I actually know the line because of collecting rather than actually Knowing the watching the show. the show. Yeah. So when I was doing my research, uh, everybody was talking, you know, about the the, the figures. It's, it's it's also a short line. It's nine figures, and I don't know, probably around five vehicles. Something like that, mm-hmm. uh, but everybody that that when I was researching, everybody will talk about the bootleg, right? Mm-hmm. The, the finding the the the, the giant toxi. So I start looking more into it, more into it, mm-hmm. and, and actually that was out of the figures, that was the most expensive figures, like out yeah. of, out of out of the figures, yeah, right? It's... So it's funny because usually a bootleg, it's you know less expensive than than the original. But this one, you know, with his box still sealed and all that, this one is more expensive than any other the, and actually, Toxic Crusader. Even, even I, still, ones, yeah. still Carter or vehicle. Mm-hmm. This was more expensive than those. So that's the only reason I like it. Uh, I still like the colors and all that. But but I don't have that many bootlegs. Yeah, and and that's that's where I'm at too. Like I said, I have some cust- customs. Mm-hmm. I have a couple of turtle customs, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you on one of them for customs. Like, what? What is he doing? Like, do you really like it, or it's just like, oh, uh, what now? Oh, uh, uh, which? Yeah, I, I was. I, I watched a, uh, a couple of uh, of shows on one uh, mm-hmm. uh, beat him for for customs. I'm like, what is he doing? Which ones were they? I forgot. Uh, there was a uh, Casey Jones from. Uh, uh, a oh. guy that shall shall name well, well no so, shall remain nameless. Yeah, so so I I did it I did it to be funny. So because I sold it, you got money like that, right? No, <laughs> I, I I got money to be funny. Okay, uh, yeah. No, know. but but I did it I did it I did it for the fun of it, you know. And I sold it. I mean, I I didn't hold on to it. I I, mm. I mean, 
I have that that warrior Razar, and I, the reason why I got that one with you know that he looks damn near like a Grizzlor. Mm. You know, I I got that one because oh that yeah well that's a custom, but it was a custom yeah well that, it, that, that, I will make I will make an, an exception <laughs> oh, on that. I will oh, make yeah, an exception yeah. on that one, um, and we'll we'll can expand on that one a little bit. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I saw you also posting custom for uh, Pizza Face. Yeah, so so that's another custom because I it, it just pretty much it's such a cool figure because that they have a prototype. Mm-hmm. There's actually original pro, and that's the way he was supposed to be made. Oh, he was actually I, supposed I didn't to, know yeah. That. Okay, so okay. that's the reason why I got it because of that reason, because uh-huh. it, it sh- that that was the original. Th- that's how the it, prototype. It was, yeah. mm-hmm. So they made a custom out of the out of the prototype. prototype. If, if you look at if, 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 the uh, what is it, totally rad or what, what's the book called? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a there's a uh, you can actually see it. It's a prototype. There's a head. There's that actually exists. Okay, okay, okay. So. They went based off of that, and that's why that's why I get things like that because when, like you said, when you're so into the toy line that you like, mm-hmm. you want things like that. You know, if I could get the cut, if I could get a prototype of that, I would. But mm-hmm. I know it's gonna cost some money too. Yeah, the one that you mentioned for the for the Warrior Rasser, mm-hmm. that's a pretty cool figure. It, it I is. haven't seen it though. You, you got it, but never showed it to me. Uh, it's a pretty cool. Figure. I'll, I'll bring I'll bring it so that you can see. that figure actually was displayed on the on the card box mm-hmm. right well no no so that was so one of the original i was, think I, I think there was only two made if i'm not mistaken oh no no but yeah but, but i'm saying that it showed on the on the original card oh box, yeah 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 on the mm-hmm. on, on yeah, the it, characters it on the mm-hmm. back it's just like it, that like that uh war you know how they have warrior rocks they have a warrior bebop yeah, oh my yeah. god i want that figure so bad mm-hmm. but you know and i know there's one out there but you know, the okay. best thing you probably get to is making a custom. But I, I don't want to get too deep in. I don't want to have too many of those. Yeah, I just want to yeah, have enough. Kinda like whatever you, yeah, you I, like I want to have. Most. Yeah. And so the, the the next one I have purchased, like I said, the last one was at Pizza Face. And so and I did it because of that. I thought it looked so cool, you know, like so detailed for one. But two, that's how it originally, you know, that's how it should have been made. You know, you were able to remove his little hat and mm. and, and he has a head on top of it. You know, he has a small head. Yeah. So. I, I really like that, and so that's why I went after it. And there's 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 different people doing the customs, and then there's people that actually you know are famous for it, mm-hmm. a, and the price can can really get up there yeah. if 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 the guy or certain guy is doing it. Mm-hmm. I I don't know much about that world because I don't get into customs either too much, but uh, but I've heard of, of of some guys that that you know they do some customs or don't some. <coughs> uh, you know replicas with their own mm-hmm. touch or whatever and then they can get real price yeah yeah and, and so that's why customs to me i don't have nothing against them i don't know if i sell them but i do like to collect some i'm not like i said i don't want to get into a big big display of having nothing but customs i don't, I don't want that i just want to have a certain amount certain you know just a handful of them but you can say man that's pretty cool mm-hmm. and that, that's pretty much it. that's all i want i don't i don't want like I said, to have a, a, a full shelf of, of customs. I don't want that. So, I mean, having different paint, you know, painting schemes and things like that, is, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I just don't want too many. I want something that's unique. Yeah. And so um, customs in your cave that I'm looking around, do you have any customs? I yourself? don't think I have any customs. Uh, let, I me, let me. I don't know. No, I don't. I, I don't. I don't gravitate. I don't gravitate away from the original. Like I don't do much of a bootlegs, mm-hmm. customs, variants, or or knockoffs. Mm-hmm. I do some. Ha- I, I do have some variants. A very 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 few. Most of them will be on the total line. Um, I do love the the euros. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, I have I I, I have all of them. <laughs> and do you lose. And do you remember when I tell you, you want to get no no I don't want those. I don't uh, want those. I don't let's want not those. talk about <laughs> what I said or what I didn't say at some point. Because if you if you go there, I pretty much I said I I said I wasn't gonna collect G.I. Joe's. I said I wasn't gonna collect. I think he uh, said Star Wars too. Star Wars. Yeah, some Star no, Wars. No, Star but Wars. Not I, 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 no, I always I've always liked it, but I, I've always said I wouldn't collect G.I. Joe's. So far, I still, you know, haven't collected Transformers. Not because I don't like it, and not because I didn't like GI Joe's. Just because you know the the toy line is so big, mm-hmm. so that so vast that 
knowing me, I'm just gonna go. You're gonna go banger crazy. up, you know, uh, <laughs> pretty much. So, so yes, at some point I said I wasn't gonna get any of the of the euros, mm-hmm. but once I got the first one, man, it was just yeah. Like, that's yeah, what I'm yeah, telling you when you euros. see them, when you actually have them in your hand. And like, now yeah. one of my, you know, dream pieces to have mm-hmm. is actually a variant for the Ninja Turtles, which is the Carter Euro Shredder. Oh. That'll be my my that'll be my crown, the crown of my collection. I think like I think that's it, and that's higher I'm than that. It, I'm, yeah, higher than that will be only the the silver uh, armor shredder. Yeah, silver. Which that's just only two in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, by a, for a guy that doesn't collect variants, you know, wanting to have my my crown jewel on tune, being a, a variant. A variant. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, uh, hypocrite. I will say, but it's contra- but it's, a, it's a bit contradicting. But but we we both understand what it is, mm, yeah. And we both understand how rare it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even even from turtles, like those are the variants that I have. You know, there's a lot of variants like this, the 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 slash. You know, I I do have the the the, the yellow belly slash, mm-hmm. but I don't have the regular. So I only have one, and then you sold you sold yeah, me yeah. one. And I'm like, all right, I'm good with this slash. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Like I don't, I don't, I don't need to have all the variants. So as long as I have one figure of each, right? And so, it's crazy because the, the like you said, the yellow belly is now it's getting you know. So I don't, I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't consider the slash the yellow belly being a, a variant being because he was actually. The, the reason why that was the first run. Oh, so that's the the original. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. Then I have the original. I don't have the variant. Yeah. The most common will be the variant. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's, that's what's, something that, you learn something. Yeah. I learn something so, every day. So th- that that it's almost like the metalhead. The metalhead with the yellow starburst. Without the yellow starburst, the card the card is the variant. That's what makes that figure. You know, yeah. it's hard to find and and very expensive. Mm-hmm. So there could be even card backs that that make things make make the you know. But that was the first. That was pretty much the first figure yeah. from that line for Metalhead to come out in that toy line. The other variants that I have for Turtles will be the the Black Bills that we've been talking about them for almost on, on, on almost every <laughs> podcast. <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. uh, that'll be the other variant line, and I think that's pretty much it as far as Turtles. And even for the rest of my collection, I don't have. I only have that Lilila the Boba Fett. What, would you consider that a variant being? I mean, it was. It Isn't was. It? I don't know if it's a variant. I mean, then what is it? Hmm. Which one's the original? The the one that came out in the in the U.S. What do you mean? Like the Boba Fett that came in came out mm-hmm. in the U.S. The one with the, with its rocket on it and the regular, the one that you find. So, but, but see, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is, is it a, is it a variant here in the U.S. But it wasn't a variant in where it was actually produced, which was in Mexico. Do you consider that a variant? Because that was it was a, that's what it was originally produced I mean, over there. If you collect, I, I would say it's a variant because. So do you the, could okay? What, do you, I would say okay. So it wasn't variant in Mexico, but which one came out first? The one in the U.S. So anything else in other countries and anywhere else, or any other type of painting, or whatever that that start becoming a variant. I, that that I consider that the one yeah. that the one that came out first as as original. The other ones are variants. And then there's, that's where we get to, you know, on Masters of the Universe, you get variants from from the India, from the, the, Leo, yeah, the Leos, the top toys from Argentina, the, I don't know, all the companies, but, yeah. you know, all around the world. I will say those are the variants. Um, I don't do much of a variants, uh, but I know some people go crazy for that. Well, yeah. I would love to, you know, even though I don't like, I don't collect much of a Motu and I don't like variants. I, I feel like I will have to have a a, a Leo. A Leo, Leo Skeletor, a Leo Hima, no. Leo, whatever. I, one Leo of those. Faker. Three, yeah, well, pff, <laughs> <laughs> I can only dream, right? But, yeah, yeah. but I would like to have a Leo just just because it's like mm-hmm. so rare. Yeah, it, it's, the, it's more about the rarity than, than the variant or being a variant collector. Yeah, no, no, no. So, so variant, man. I'm, I'm crazy about variants. I, I really am. So, of course, you know, my first line. People, people know this. It's the Ninja Turtles. So, I, I'm really hardcore into variants. Doesn't, doesn't mean I have all the variants, but I do try to get them. 
I and you know a lot of them. Uh, uh, sometimes, like I, I, I took some figures to your store, and I was like, "Hey, just help him, help me mm-hmm. sell this." And like, "Oh, you want to sell the the Mondo Gecko with the knee pain?" And the I'm like, <laughs> "Wait, what? <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see. Let me see. What do I have? What, what am I selling?" <laughs> so, <coughs> so, so that, there's a lot of a lot of variants with mm-hmm. the, you know, pains, tweaks on the pains mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Paint schemes. Pretty much what makes it a variant is the paint scheme because it's. it's always mainly the same mold it's mm. it's most likely the paint scheme is what makes it the variant that's how that's how it's the, the euro shredder it's the same type of super shredder but it's the paint scheme that's different the mm. chef shredder same thing it's it's a it's a different the same mold different color different color. so it's just it's just pretty much paint schemes when it comes to accessories, accessories. same thing yeah. if, it, if it's uh the gun could be the undercovers perfect example mm. you have you have yellow yellow uh accessories for for my, I mean, for Dawn, Raph and Don, Raph and Don, and then, and, and then, uh, and and so they have what yellow, yellow and blue, right? Yellow and blue, yellow and blue. Yeah. So, they, they, like I said, it, it, but they just have different colors. So that's what makes it the variant. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, everything to me that I've seen when it comes to the turtle line has a diff. Now, I don't know about Thundercats. I'm not too familiar with with that line mm-hmm. to know, but I know, like, say for instance, uh, the mom, the mama, there's one that actually came with the silver chain. And then mm. there's come with the black with the chain. black chain, yeah. yeah, yeah. I it, don't know. I don't know which one is the more with the silver after. chain, the silver chain. Yeah, the silver chain. So that was a little. I hard. knew. I knew about those two mm-hmm. chains, but I didn't know. So, so that's what I'm saying. So usually it always comes down to paint scheme. That that's mm-hmm. the, the, the motu, the 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 dark blue skeleton. When it gets to that, sometimes when I say I don't, I, I'm not much of a variant collector. It doesn't mean that I don't collect. Now that I think about it, honestly, I, I hadn't thought about it mm-hmm. like this, but then. I'm not saying I don't collect variants. I will say I don't collect the same figure at the same time. Mm. So because in some some instance, like for Star Wars, I don't know if if the brown snake, Yoda, mm. it's okay. a variant or is the original. But I thought it was, okay, this is the harder to get. It's a little bit more set after. Oh, let me get that one. But I only have one Yoda. So I'm not mm-hmm. going to have two Yodas with one with the green snake, one with the brown snake, okay. one with the eyes red or i don't know they have different <laughs> eyes whatever joda it was higher i don't know <laughs> but 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 i i will get only one maybe the more sought after or whatever i can get my hands on but do you know which is the most sought after one i i knew it was as far as snakes i know that the brown snakes yeah. the more the more sought after mm-hmm. that's why i got that one uh, uh but there i know there's variants on, on the eyes and stuff like that and so that that's for the job was so like for instance bubble fits so you got the Hong Kong and you got the Taiwan. Mm-hmm. Same year, same year. People want the Taiwan more than they want the Hong Kong. What is that? I, I've always wondered that. Like, is is the same, but it's, I'm, I'm, it's I'm, a better quality? Is it better No, it's a, it looks about the same. I, I think it's more so is there, the production. Is, is there How, less? Yeah. I think there's le- I think there's more of the, there's less more Hong Kong than there is Taiwan. Taiwan. So Taiwan is is a little bit more desirable when it comes to Boba mm. Fett. So that's what I'm saying. So you could but, have... About about the whole line, I've seen more people tor- uh, go towards Taiwan on any other figure. Like, I mean, from Star Wars. From Star Wars, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, no? more so. I've seen it more so with the Boa Fett. Um, when it comes to like Chewbacca and things like that, I don't think people really gravitate around Got you it. know Taiwan and Hong Kong. I think it's more so of, of you know that one character. Mm. If it's a really really popular character, which would be. Boba Fett. Boba Fett, yeah. So he's one of the most, you know, sought after, yeah, sought popular. After yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, I mean, that's that's one of uh, that's one of the variants that. Do you consider that being a variant? Because I mean, if it is, if it is, yeah, if, because it has, the, if it has some difference, it has to be a, a variant, even though they look the same. But he, in the in the the CEO, country, is, the CEO, yeah. the country of, of origin mm-hmm. has a different. Then it's a variant because so one says is Taiwan, one says Hong Kong, but they're both seventy seven. <laughs> then, then we can I get technical know. about it. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not here. I'm not here to decide which one is the yeah. original or not. Mm-hmm. I I still uh, back up my idea of whatever came out first mm-hmm. as the original, and then the other ones are variants. So whatever. I don't. I don't know which one are. Mm-hmm. Uh, in those cases, you know, they're so close one mm-hmm. to the other. So I wouldn't know. But but as far as my concern mm-hmm. I, I don't do i don't collect two figures of the same like just because one is a different pain yeah it's just again that's that's what i mean when i when i say i don't collect variants that not that 
I don't have any of the variants of the original, right? I do have variants of the original, but I don't have both. Except no, the undercover. Except, ex except yeah, some of the, yeah, on the turtles, I have, you know, the Euros, the Black Bells, a couple of undercovers, mm -hmm. um, and that's about it. On, on Star Wars, is that, that, that Lily Lady Boba Fett that I'm still amazed that I have. Yeah. Huh. But uh, but that's that's pretty much it. I, I, I don't do much variants. I mean, well, so Ghostbusters, let's say Ghostbusters. What do you think about Ghostbusters? I mean, I like it. But do you Which have one? The real Ghostbusters or Filmation Ghostbusters? Not the Filmation, the real Ghostbusters. The real Ghostbusters. Okay, so you have the Echo Glows. Mm hmm. You, and that's the only line you're gonna collect. You wouldn't want the originals because remember the extra clothes are not the are not the original ones. No, but they're kind of like the grail ones. No, I okay, didn't. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. No. I, which one will be the original? Well, you have the original ones with the you know. Oh the, yeah, the, the regular, the first, the first. Yeah. Oh okay, okay, okay. I thought it was just uh, since they're all glow and they're like they're all like, I honestly thought it was they were different. So it is a variant then. <laughs> Yeah. Oh well. And then I and then on on, on Ghostbusters, I also have a very got him. Got him. I did. I did got him. You, you got me there. You got me there. Yeah. So that, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you think. I mean, it's not saying that you're wrong or your collection. All no, no, oh, no. your collection is a lie. Oh no 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 no. But but, but I, sometimes you you don't. Man, you know what? I didn't. I didn't know I had that bootleg. And sometimes I think about it too. I'm like, man, wait up. I'm over here saying this, and I do have a bootleg, or mm, I do have a. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to reproduction, of course, like we talked about, mm. there's no reproduction in my in my in my collection. That you know of? No, that I I know for hundred nah, percent. well, hundred percent. I don't have no reproduction accessory in my in my collection, okay. and 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 so, I that's the same way I think about it when it comes to selling. I do not have not one piece of of reproduction in mm -hmm. whatever I'm selling. If, if if I if I don't I, think I have that confidence. Like I I buy from so many places that I even though I buy as original, mm -hmm. I don't think I have that confidence to, to know say. That, yeah. I don't have any reproduction. I I know that it, there's a possibility that I bought something that I didn't. I mean, there's without times that, me knowing. Well, there's times that I actually even just to just for my sake, I actually buy another accessory. I've done that before where I bought another accessory. The same and and I put compare them. Just to make sure, because just it, to make sure that it's yeah, because it, it makes me hundred percent. It pretty much is like it. it, it you it, see, you have money like that. No, <laughs> <laughs> you can buy two, three different so just to compare. No, but, no, but I know what you mean. But it just it like it relieves me to know that okay, I feel confident bagging and tagging this and saying here, here's an original piece. You don't mm. have to worry about you're, you're getting a bootleg or a reproduction piece. You you know you, you could you could display it and you could say hundred percent this is. You could grade it. Mm -hmm. you, you you could do whatever you want, and without even without having any kind of, you know, that 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 hesitation hesitation. Yeah, yeah, that they man, I think this guy sold me a bootleg because, I, a reproduction. I'm sorry, because I've seen that happen. Mm -hmm. Like say for instance the the bull fit. Remember we talked about this before, but when when you showed it off in that in that Star yeah, Wars, they they got me. It, they it got freaks me you out, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and, it got and, me. It got me thinking. It got me thinking. Yeah. I wasn't that freaked out. Because you told me it was original, you checked it. A couple of other guys checked it, and mm -hmm. I'm like, All right, I'm confident. But 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 still, you know, yeah, there's that, that. It, especially because of the price tag. You know, mm -hmm. if I would have been like a twenty dollar figures, you know, nah, whatever. But because of the price tag, it, it kind of like made me think. I gra I graded it, and you know, now, now, now I rest assured, right? Um, but yeah, there, man, there's so so many so many you know pre pros bootlegs. Variants. variants and 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 what are, like knockoffs like do you knockoffs what do you do what do you think about knockoffs do you collect any of them i don't i don't have any knockoffs so knockoffs will will be a line or a figure that resembles a copyrighted or or a franchise a popular mm -hmm. franchise but they just resemblance to it but they're not really it's, it's not it's not original it's not original so any cause I, I was i was um uh, at a toy show and a friend of mine came to 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 do the show as a vendor right mm -hmm. and they come from argentina mm -hmm. and i honestly i didn't know those knockoffs uh, and he had like um, knockoffs from. 
I I'm, I'm I don't know that I don't remember the name, but it was a knockoff of of, of Masters of the Universe. Okay. From Argentina. Uh, Those are like a fuerza, fuerza, hey, or something like that. Like it was a uh, literally, it was like the head of him on um, the body of. I'm I'm gonna butcher this. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Uh, but it was a uh, what 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 impressed me was the price tag. It was it was really pricey for being a a a, a, a knockoff mm -hmm. line. The story that they told me it was that. Uh, Top Toys from Argentina, when they did the first run of um, the figures of, of Masters of the Universe, mm -hmm. now, this is what I remember. This is the story that I told me. Okay. Don't, don't quote me on don't this. Don't shoot the right? messenger. Yeah, don't shoot the messenger. So the story goes like this, right? So they, 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 they pay for the license to do the, the, the toy line in Argentina. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they let them use the molds mm -hmm. right but they don't necessarily sell them the molds so you have them for a certain amount of time do all the figures and you have to return the molds okay what i've heard is that after the second run instead of just letting them use it i believe that the top toys bought oh the the molds right so they finished the the run uh of of top toys in argentina and after the the, the line was over you know it was you know, every year was less and less Dying down. sales. They tried to to revive it, and they used the same molds. Now they put head of human with the body of Merriman or a Skeletor mm -hmm. or with the legs of Mosquito or whatever. <laughs> so they start like making all these Frankenstein, Frankenstein's. Yeah. Uh, and I believe they did like, I don't know, it was like 10 figures or something like that. I can't remember. I can't. It was Fuerza okay, or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and and then. And, and, and y'all guys, guys could tell us maybe. maybe yeah, comments. put it in there. I don't remember. Uh, and uh, 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 shout out to, to, to Gavi and Macarena that they showed me that, um, you know, that toy line. I didn't, I didn't even know that existed. So they were the ones who, who were like, you know, put them mm -hmm. up on, on the show and I'm like those are very well made knockoffs and they were made out of the original molds mm -hmm. from from the actual toy line so those are pretty cool I've seen another knockoffs that like did you see people gravitating around those when you were at the show yes a lot of people were like oh, and it surprised me that even even though they were like from Argentina mm -hmm. like a lot of uh you as you know collectors were like oh my god they were talking about them oh this is so cool and they were like i can because i was i was with them on the on on the on the, on the, the booth, booth uh -huh. and i was over here and the, the oh yeah i remember i told you about this and i'm like wow like hmm. this this knockoffs are really you know very well known and, and the price tag on the guy that was supposed to be him and of course didn't have that that name but he had the face of him and yeah, herman herman, herman. <laughs> something like that <laughs> um that was that was a uh, uh, a very very that was the most expensive one so yeah i don't hmm. i don't know much about knuckles i'm not but see, it, but see that's that's what i'm getting at is is there's all kinds of collectors oh my gosh there's so many different types of collectors that there's people that only collect nothing but bootlegs there's mm. people that collect nothing but knockoffs mm. or they look they look for those but, but they know what they're looking at and they mm. know you know, like I said, things have value. Or they have to have all the variants. Like yeah. you have the, you know, they have to have all the variants. Oh yeah, I have seen I've seen collections of you know they have uh, the, the 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 Lionel, like the original, mm -hmm. and then they have like a line of yeah. Lionel like from all these countries, and then the next one Panthro or Chitara oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like they have all the, and they won't rest until they fill up all the spots. Yeah, and so else. I have I have this guy. You know, shout out to Alex Ali. Call him. He mm -hmm. he goes to the store. Okay. Um, and he talks to me a lot about about because I'm not too familiar with Thundercats, mm -hmm. and man, he 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 shows me, hey, look, I got this Thundercat. I look at his eyebrows; they're painted different. You know, this one was this year, this one this. I'm like, God dang, dude! I didn't know that <laughs> Thundercats was so many. They had so many. They had so many. I, I've I've seen like uh, uh, Raul Raul El Pelon. Mm -hmm. he, he I went to I, I've been to his collection a couple of times, and he he has like a lot of Thundercats, you know, variants. I'm like. Uh, and some also some variants of and i'm of jealous because raul has invited me 
Well, sorry, man. You're not that. I know. <laughs> you, I know. you might have the money, but you don't have the, <laughs> the ways. <laughs> no, no. We couldn't. We couldn't go together that time. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, my my time wasn't wasn't yeah, looking but, uh, good. So, ne yeah, next time I'll I I'll invite you to Raul oh, Pelon next so time. Much. Thank you so much, <laughs> Raul. <laughs> I already invited him. So, <laughs> no, but yeah, his collection is amazing. Uh, he he does a lot have a a, a lot of variants. Um, I don't I don't I don't consider myself. But okay, so let me ask you: Do you, do you but do you like hearing at least stories about like? I do, oh, I do. I like stories about every every you know whether it's like 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 that like that knockoff. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't, I I will say, out of all these things that we've <coughs> talked about, which is variants, bootlegs, mm -hmm. uh, Knock -on, knockoffs, yeah. or I think. Please don't 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 attack me on this one. But the list that I gravitate to are the knockoffs. Mm -hmm. But when I heard that story, it was pretty cool. I was like, yeah. "Oh man, I feel like I, I I just learned some of the story of, of you know of, of this line and this. It's a pretty cool, you know, backstory to to know. So no, for sure, the stories I, I I'm always you know fascinated. Fascinated, about, even, uh, even though it's something you don't collect, you still like. The, and that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like to hear those stories, like I said, when when customers come in, mm -hmm. I like to hear them, and they're they're interesting. I was just telling you a little while ago about these guys that came into the store and. They were telling me about little ladies and they used to work. They, they used to live right by the factory and they were telling me, you know, things that they used to just pick them up. And I'm like, wow, man, like, you know, they used to this, this, the security guard would have them in a bin. He's like, just take whatever you want. And, you know, stories like that, like, yeah. wow, man, you know, that's that's crazy that that not only, you know, it's a, it's a childhood, you know, yeah. toy, but the fact that they live near the, the factory. Yeah. And, You told me that they even found some unpainted ones. Yeah, so we're th and, I'm and thinking they painted yeah. the unpainted ones. They were like the ones that, that they will bury and then like treat the yeah. worst because it wasn't painted. He, so. he, they told me they will find them. They pretty much found them in the dumpster. Like they would just dump them out. And I was like, oh my gosh. And and, and so they said probably the errors, probably factory errors, or probably, I don't know. Who cares? When, it, yeah, who cares? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's gold, you know? So things like that. And so, yeah, I mean, like, I'm like, wow. And, and, and when they were telling me, I just want to hear more. I want to hear more about like and and what did y'all do with them and oh yeah we buried them, but and they're still buried because they built houses on top of them. Oh wow! <laughs> so we don't know like I would go in I'm there with a the shovel there and, dig, yeah. and start digging. <laughs> start digging. I, like you know, there's like that's pretty much like gold right there. Yeah. You have Lee Lady and I go man, you might have some prototypes there if they're unpainted or like you said factory or anything like that is just mm -hmm. man, dude. You just think about it like oh my gosh, yeah. That's that's also why I feel like uh, um. Uh, because of that, sorry, I was I was remembering. You know, I'm not gonna say the coolest shows, but uh, one of the coolest shows will be always on on Chicago, Ohio, or or California, mm -hmm. or one of those you know factories where usually I think Kenner was Kenner's in Ohio, on Ohio, mm -hmm. and then therefore you will find people that used to oh, work yeah, there oh, and man. they have prototypes and all this super cool stuff come mm -hmm. out of ohio or chicago or, or california yeah mm -hmm. here in texas we didn't get any Te no texas we're getting it we're getting we're, we're actually giving it over here but it is it. our we're collection now but, but not not, 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 <laughs> not in the sell. not in the 80s or like we, not didn't, we didn't get any any factories here no 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 so so like i said but i mean i think I mean, yeah, the, the stories of, of Ohio. I've heard so many things in Ohio. Oh my gosh, it's 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 a gold mine over there. It's and that's why sometimes, like I I know this past year, I wish I would have went with you to PowerCon. I know unfortunately it wasn't you know it wasn't mm -hmm. meant to be, but you know I wasn't more. Ex I think I was more excited to want to go to the stores than to actually be at yeah. PowerCon because these stores have stories. They might even give you some leads hey i know a guy that used to work at this factory yeah, yeah, yeah. i've heard you that know, things like that like man I, I that's that would be something that i would love to and you know we don't like i said we don't have the time to be hunting a lot because mm, you're busy time schedule i'm busy as well when it comes to the store so you know we don't we just don't have that but it would be fun to go on an adventure like that and i think one day we have to do that we have and to, we have to yeah, record well, it mm -hmm. we want the people to you know to follow us you know because it, it honestly it'd be it'd be a new adventure for For the both of us, yeah, for sure, for sure. I would love to, you know, oh, man. We, yeah. can, we can only yeah. dream. We can only dream yeah. to meet one of those guys that used to work on those factories, mm -hmm. you know. And all of a sudden, he gets out of some 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 figures out of his, yeah. you know, he's, attic or whatever. Or he's ready that. to sell, yeah. Or just even just at least hold them or, or heard the stories. Yeah, 
Just, yeah. just the stories that you know. It just, I feel like every story that you hear, either on YouTube or from, if you, if you, if you record it, I think somehow it's a big puzzle filling up yeah, with the stories, yeah. and then you start making up, mm -hmm. you know, stories from here, start from there, and then you start like putting together the stories. I love the show of. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen. It. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, the, the the show on Netflix, the 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 the. Um, The Toys That Made Us. Oh, yes. Oh, man. That's, that's a show I, I love. That's I awesome. Just, yeah. and, and you know what? Sometimes I actually play it at the store. Yeah. I play it on the TV. and Because it's, uh, even though I've seen it uh, numerous times, million times, you could say, I like to play it just because people sometimes stop and they start looking at it and, it, and they gravitate around it. And mm -hmm. so that's what I'm saying. It's just, But know, is the story behind yeah. whether it's from the people that created them mm -hmm. from, and then... And then some, some little, you know, chisme or gossip right there, mm -hmm. you know, where like, oh, now, now I know why they stopped making mm -hmm. it. Or I know why they stopped making stars because, you know, this guy fought over with this guy. Yeah. They and, stole and the idea from this guy. Oh, man, but, and like I said, you know, when it comes to toy lines, I mean, everybody's a savage, you know. It's, yeah. You know, you got to make it. You got to make it. You know, you eat or get in. One yeah. of those two. And it's, and Especially same, on those times, right? But well, same thing with collecting. That's how... And people, like we talked about before, people could be savages. I mean, you know, there's sometimes, you know, you, you get friends could probably, you know, end up getting you know, a little a little upset with one another. You know, and it shouldn't get to that point, but it happened that time from time to time. I've yeah. seen it happen. And so, you know, but when it comes, like I said, with the passion of collecting the stories, even though we don't collect some of the stuff, like we don't, like, for instance, knockoffs. I don't collect it, but to hear stories mm -hmm. i'm more than interested to hear it because it's 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 something that and you know, sometimes actually actually if you think about it the story of it at least for me sometimes it's, it's what it makes me want to collect it mm -hmm. sometimes the story about how rare you know these figures are okay now or they are rare because of this or The forgotten source, you know, oh, they did it. They they were planning to do this. All their mm -hmm. prototypes that never came out, and like, now I want oh, them, yeah. right? So yeah. sometimes the story behind it is what makes you want mm, to collect yep, them, yep. right? No, so, you're absolutely right. So there's so many stories out there. If you if you all know any, just let us know. You know, was yeah, what's the mean, favorite story about about your favorite toy line? But uh, but yeah, no, it's I think it was a, 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 a you know a good good topic. I, I didn't think, you know, we we're going to talk this long. It was already an hour, but, uh, wow. but yeah, just bootlegs. Because there's always stuff to talk and about. It's like, yeah. it's like, and it's a huge part of, 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 of a collector's, you know, uh, a life or, or the just just the, the, the collector's in, in general, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So, well, we're going we're gonna to have to, to cut right it now. No, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> no, man. La last time we did like an hour and 30 minutes and all of that. I want to keep it a... Uh, um, who's keep, who's, uh, who's keep keeping track of time? Yeah, right. Time keeper now, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's you because you, it's almost your bedtime. You, <laughs> yeah, it's almost I'm your sorry, bedtime. Guys, you, have to, sorry, guys. you have to go to sleep I had now, to drink right. my work glass of milk yeah, and go to bed. You have to get your beauty sleep. <laughs> 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 all right, brother. Take care, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much, man. By, man. Yes, sir. And, yeah, all right. I'll see you. I'll see you on the next one. There we go. Thank you, guys.